A body of mass falls six kilograms falls vertically against a constant resistance of 10 newtons. The body passes through two points A and B when travelling at 2 metres per second and 9 metres per second respectively, find the distance AB. So again, we should just start with a diagram. So here is my uh, particle or body at A. It's, at, it's moving against a force of 10 newtons, so it's moving downwards. Uh, 6 G newtons, it's going to go down 8 metres. Where this is uh, 6 uh, kilo kilograms and 10, uh, 6 G newtons, and again, the resistant force of six newton, uh, 10 newtons. We have a velocity here of 2 meters per second and a velocity here of 9 meters per second. And what we've got to calculate is this height here, the distance AB. So the energy at A, so we're going to use energy. So there's going to be two types of energy at A. There's going to be kinetic energy and potential energy. We'll take this as our reference point. So it will be a half mv squared plus mgh. So that first case would be a half times 6 times 2 squared plus 6gh. And h is uh, what we've got to calculate. So that will give me uh, 12 plus 6gh newton, uh, 6gh joules of energy. And now we'll consider the energy at B. So the energy at B will be a half mv squared, which is half times 6 times 9 squared, and the potential energy will be actually be 0. So we're going to get 243 joules when we work that out. So there will be some sort of energy loss between here and here. And that energy loss is due to that the work done by this force moving this distance. So that's going to be 12 plus 6 gh minus uh, 243 uh, simplifying that becomes 6GH, 12 minus 243 is 231 joules. Okay, so that energy loss uh, occurs uh, by the work done by, goes to the work done by that force falling down H meters. So, using the same diagram, we don't need to wait for the diagram. So the work done by the resistance force of 10 newtons, it's going to be force times distance, which is going to be equal to the energy loss, which we just calculated. So the force is going to be 10 newtons times the height, the distance moved, which is h. And the energy loss from the previous part was 6gh minus 231 joules. Now we have an equation which we can now uh, solve. because 10h is equal to 6gh minus 231. So that will become 6g minus 10h. So what we've done, we'll take that over there, subtracted out the h, and factorised out the h, and making that now equal to 231. And therefore, h will be 231 divided by 6g minus 10. When we do that on our calculator, and we get 4.733. To three single figures, that will give me a distance of 4.73 metres. Okay, this has been a video to show you how to find the vertical distance a body falls through against a resistance force. Uh, I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.